South Dakota's electric cooperatives, all of you across the state, were approached by the South Dakota Veterans Council about the proposed state's veterans cemetery that was being discussed at Sioux Falls. And as part of the partnership between East River Basin, Rushmore Electric, SDRE, and CoBank, we're pleased to be able to deliver a check for $47,000, $47,500 to the South Dakota Veterans Council for the new cemetery. It will be sited north of where Interstates 90 and 229 meet on the northwest side of Sioux Falls. Today we have with us State Representative Larry Zickman and Chair of the Endowment Committee, Ken Tennyson, to receive the check. And I think Ken's going to say a few words. Gonna have to raise this up here a little bit. This, on behalf of the South Dakota Vet Council, on behalf of the South Dakota Veterans State Veterans Cemetery Endowment Fund, I'd appreciate we appreciate the contribution to the endowment fund. Uh, for those that are prior service, four days and a wake up, and we have the groundbreaking uh, the nine o'clock on Monday. And that's the first step of many years of uh, work trying to get one for the eastern side of South Dakota. And we sincerely do appreciate the contribution on behalf of the South Dakota Vet Council. I thank you. You know what? It's, <coughs> politician always has to say mm -hmm. something. So I think, Ed, I think all the power is in this room. My wife tells me not to make jokes when I get up, so. Uh, I wanna, first of all, have it, which I always do, I always try to do. I represent District 14, which is the southeast part of Sioux Falls. And I'm a Vietnam era veteran, which is a 68 to 72. So what I always try to do, if I can, if they let me say something, is I always ask our veterans, and our current military people to stand up and take a round of applause. But all those that have served in the military that are veterans and either are or are uh, in the National Guard or Reserve, stand up. I currently serve on and have for almost six years now on the Energy Committee for the State of South Dakota House, and I hope that I can continue to do that. I also serve on two Energy Committees for the National Council, uh, state legislators, and uh, for another group of state legislators called CSG, which is the 11 states in the state uh, in, in this central part. And uh, we always talk about uh, how we can improve energy, et cetera, et cetera. And I can honestly say, when I go in and when, if, when I talk, uh, I always brag on all the energy uh, programs and all of our companies, et cetera, that we have in South Dakota. So I want to thank all of you for all your help and support. We're sitting at the, the table that I was sitting at. Um, I know we've got an issue, and uh, we're going to try to tackle that this next year and uh, try to hopefully take care of it. But I want to thank all of you for your help and support. And most of all, I want to thank you for this check, because this goes toward $3 million, which we have to raise by 2023, for the Veterans Cemetery for the perpetual maintenance of that, of that cemetery. And uh, we're at, with this check and with another check that we'll be getting with another one, et cetera, we should be hopefully, and Ken didn't say that, over uh, 600,000 at this point. So we've got a ways to go, uh, but we're gonna get there because South Dakota, and I say South Dakota, is very, very good at giving, and uh, especially uh, giving to our veterans because our veterans have served, it's time 
to say thank you. So we thank you for this check. Um, we accept all kinds of different checks, so you can, you can keep <laughs> writing checks. And uh, but we have uh, a long way to go, and we'll, we're going to get there. The um, groundbreaking is this next week. Uh, we look, uh, and then hopefully, when, after I talked just the other day with the Assistant Deputy, Deputy Assistant Secretary for Department of Veterans Affairs, that hopefully will, uh, the, the job and all the construction, et cetera, hopefully will be done by about December next year with the dedication coming sometime in the, in the spring, not in the winter time, but sometime in the spring. So, uh, but we're going to continue to work. Uh, it's been an honor. I, I'm the chair of the Military and Veterans Affairs Council uh, in, the, in the House, and uh, so I also serve uh, on the, with the two groups that I talked about, uh, with the National Council for, for State Legislators and CSG, so I ser also serve on those two committees, uh, national committees. So again, we thank you. I didn't mean to make this long, but we really, really appreciate all the help that, that you've that you've given us. And I, one last thing, we, I have, uh, your, the people that come to the legislature that uh, represent you, Ed and his crew, uh, they're a really, really good group to work with. Um, I enjoy working with them. So uh, thanks, uh, thank you again, and God bless you. Thank you.